Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing video of Andrew and Nicole. In my previous videos, I've shown you the XPG SX8200 Pro NVMe SSD that you can put it in your computer to boost up your storage and at the same time enjoy faster read and write speeds for your system. Now, if you're wondering what, can, what else can we do with the SSD NVMe? Now you can all either put it in a in your laptop, you can put it in your motherboard directly in your desktop, or if you want, you can also put it in a small enclosure, just like this one that we're going to unbox. This way you will have a blazing fast SSD in your pocket. Okay, you can put in many you can put in NVMe inside an NVMe SSD, and you can enjoy big storage at a very, very fast speed. All right, so let's unbox this one. This one I rec I recently bought from from online. This is cost around six hundred pesos, very very cheap. I'll put it all the the links down below so that you'll be able to to buy it if you want. This was I think around six hundred to seven hundred pesos, or about ten ten to fifteen dollars US. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside. As you can see already, it came with the packaging of this one, the the cable and the screwdriver. Now, my tip to you, if you're gonna buy something like this, try to buy the USB-C version already so that you can, you will not be, be having a problem or at least you, it will use a smaller USB-C and this, this is the newest USB port that you can use so this is the USB type A this is the type C all right so for this one it came with a screwdriver okay we'll try to unscrew and show it to you later so this one came <clears throat> excuse me this one came with a very nice metallic enclosure it's very handy look compared to my hand it's very small so you the way to do it is you plug in the USB-C cable here on this side okay there, there one there and you plug the other side on your computer okay so just to give you a 360 degree shot okay this one is actually very neat so what you can do is you open up You open up. All right. I hope I won't lose the screw. Okay. I put it here. And the other one. Okay. So there you go. So you unhook this one. I remove this one first. And you can see this little guy inside. So this is actually the PC board or the PCB. Okay, let me try to show it to you. Okay, so I refrain from touching all the, the ICs inside just to be sure that we are not gonna short circuit it. Okay, so let me try to put in an SSD NVMe here so that I can show it to you. So remember my SSD. This is SSD, this is the SSD. So just slot it in carefully. There. Okay, so you have to screw this one. Screw this one up. There's a screw somewhere. Okay. So this, there's a screw. You should put it here, okay, to make sure it's locked. And you insert it. Let's say you had it screwed already. So just put it inside. So make sure there's a there there are some grooves that you need to to see. There you go. So make sure to line it up correctly. And there you go. So it's inside 
So when you hook it up in your computer, it will recognize and format the SSD for you. All right, so this is a very simple way to install using an enclosure. And I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. I'll put on the links for this, this one, the ADATA SX8200 Pro. This is also a very affordable SSD that you can buy. And you can use this one to make it an external hard drive. Or you can put it in a PCIe expansion card just like I showed in the previous video. So you'll be able to use it in your computer if you, in case you don't have a, a NVMe slot in your motherboard. All right, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post in the description down below. I'll put everything down below and so that you'll be able to, to, to buy it if you want to. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe to support my channel. Till the next video, bye-bye.